Hey yo, what's up guys? Passive Baller here. We are now on this fourth game of this uh, February 26, 2022 NBA game day. Now let's talk about this game between Washington Wizards with a record of 27-32 and, and Cleveland Cavaliers, the home team, displaying a record of 35 wins and 24 losses. The game will start at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's going to be 9 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. Again, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Passive Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right, let's take a look at the uh, Eastern Conference standing so that we'll have a closer look at these two teams. Starting off with the Cleveland Cavaliers, they are at number 5 in the East. For their last 10 games, man, they have won 5. That's, uh, that's decent. Uh, it's just that approaching this game, the Cavaliers have actually won 3 games straight. Okay, now for uh, Washington Wizards, they are at number 11. For their last 10 games, they have only won 4 out of their last 10. And approaching this game, they're coming off a loss, and that was their loss against San Antonio Spurs yesterday with that uh, double OT game. Hmm. Okay, so on this game, Cleveland Cavaliers, uh, they got the uh, home court advantage. Um, I would have to say that they also have uh, Chamahal, this uh, the advantage in terms of fatigue as uh, Cleveland uh, was coming off a rest while man, Washington Wizards, they came off that double uh, double OT game that they lost against San Antonio. In terms of momentum, I think uh, we can just skip that part as both teams have been losing lately. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, injury list for both teams. For Washington Wizards, um, I see a couple. Uh, so they are Kristaps Porzingis and Bradley Beal. Their, their two stars are actually not available for the you know for the Washington Wizards. So I'm I'm going to the other team and that's uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. I see four uh, four players out for this game. They are Colin Sexton, Karis Levert, Darius Garland, and Rajon Rondo. If you would notice, they are all uh, from the backcourt, either a point guard or a shooting guard. So four players out for Cleveland Cavaliers. And I'm looking at the spread. It started with minus 6 for the home team, Cleveland Cavaliers. As we speak, it is at minus 7.5. Okay. Now, uh, first off, Cleveland Cavaliers is a better team. That's, you know, that's a fact. Uh, I'm talking about this season, right? And uh, Cleveland Cavaliers, um, even though uh, they have uh, their, you know, their bigs. And by the way, I always say this, uh, Cleveland Cavaliers, they have a very good lineup in terms of their uh, bigs, uh, in terms of their centers, and in terms of, of their power forwards. They got Kevin Love, Mark Kinney, they got Mobley, uh, they got Jared Allen. You know, you, 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 pick, you, know, you pick your poison. Um, that's going to be their huge advantage in, uh, against Washington Wizards, as Washington Wizards would only have very limited uh, talent in, in them in terms of their bigs with Thomas Bryant. Uh, what's this? Uh, G Gafford, uh, I love Gafford though. He's a very, you know, he's a very legit uh, baller. But again, um, Cleveland Cavaliers they got the advantage in terms of the length, in terms of strength, and in terms of uh, talent, in terms of their bigs. But on this game, um, uh, Cleveland Cavaliers uh, they are actually uh, missing four of their uh, guards, four of their backcourt players. Um, so uh, they they really have to make sure that Okoro. Or uh, uh, what, what's what, what's that name? Um, uh, Stevens uh, would actually be able to support and would be able to uh, um, run the play properly for Cleveland Cavaliers. As again, they got a, they got very good bigs, but um, what good are those bigs? You know, if the ball won't even reach them properly, am I, am I right? Um, I was trying to check. Uh, Windler, actually Windler, um, he rarely plays for Cleveland Cavaliers, but he has proven before um, when there were a lot of um, uh, COVID issues that Windler can actually ball. You know, Windler can actually score. Windler can actually set up his teammates. So not sure what the plan of uh, their coach is if, you know, Windler would be there. But um, uh, I'm sure that they would uh, first stick with um, uh, Okoro and uh, Goodwin. Now for Washington Wizards, I'm pretty sure that they must, their legs must be tired. Man, that was a double OT. 
and on top of that that was a loss and that must be very frustrating for them um uh, they lost by four points against San Antonio Spurs going into this game. Um, and it's Cleveland Cavaliers uh, who's actually enjoying the home court advantage, man. Um, the the spread is actually minus six. Uh, it started with minus six. It became minus 7.5. I kind of I feel like that's kind of high. But um, I have a feeling that uh, maybe it will be a bit closer uh, than, you know, than we expect in the first half. But... Uh, Cleveland Cavaliers would have a you know would be able to figure this one out and would be able to break away towards the second half as uh, Washington Wizards are surely tired on this and again I'm just saying that Cleveland Cavaliers have the better talent in here um, they they may not have the guards that they want but uh, Okoro um, uh, Stevens and uh, Windler I think would be enough to run the play that you know that they that they need so my pick on this one would be Cleveland Cavaliers minus 7.5. Cavs, minus 7.5. Peace out, pase love, and God bless.